I want to reiterate something I said two to three years ago. Um, it's not a skin problem. It's a sin problem. Let me say that one more time. It's not a skin problem. It's a sin problem. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And if we don't remember that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, then we'll continue to fight against one another. And that leads to nothing but more chaos. It leads to nothing but more problems. It's going to take a person coming to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. It's going to take them getting filled with the Holy Ghost and them having a renewed mind in the Word of God to live out a life of moral conduct that is pleasing in God's sight. So racism, whether it's from any race, looting, rioting, any type of ungodly behavior that is committed by a person is done because they're not walking in the spirit, because they're not allowing the word of God, hallelujah, to supersede how they feel in their mind. So it's not a skin problem. It's a sin problem. Let us, especially as believers, not wage war in the flesh. Let us not wage war against one another. And let us always remember, ye God Osiah, that there's a spiritual battle going on. And the devil is working behind the scenes. We cannot look at people. We cannot look at people as our enemy. But we've got to know that the devil is at work. <laughs> My Lord, have mercy. In the lives of those who do not know Jesus as Lord and Savior, those who have not been filled with the Holy Ghost, and those who have not had a renewed mind through the Word of God. It's not a skin problem. It's a sin problem.